Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome back, welcome back. So good to see you here today. So today I wanna to take a second and I wanna talk about my progress uh, during COVID, what I've learned, what I've experienced, where, I'm, where my weight is, where my strength is, and uh, just go over a little bit of an update. You know, I, I've done YouTube for about two to three years now. I think, I think we're coming up on three. And I've been very unsuccessful. Didn't know how to do it, didn't know how to make videos, didn't know how to, uh, to really do anything on YouTube. My videos were terrible. And so now that I've got some traction going and I'm starting to see more of an audience growing, I'm really, really happy that I can go in depth with stuff that I care about and that it actually gets some type of response on YouTube. That's awesome for me. And saying all that, I've gone through a ton of changes um, that I feel would be beneficial to kind of discuss and uh, just where I'm at mentally, where I'm at emotionally, uh, where I'm at strength, body, everything, you know, the whole nine yards during COVID. So to start off, as soon as COVID hit, um, I had just kind of moved. Well, actually, I didn't move to this area. That was a couple of months before, but I had just kind of settled down and gotten you know gotten to where I was able to sustain and had an okay job and was making okay money and uh, I was able to go to the gym and the gym I went to was Planet Fitness. Now at Planet Fitness that was where I I think I started at about 180. So I was I was definitely a lot heavier. In fact if you go on my Instagram right now which it's uh, I believe it's up right here you can uh, go to Instagram uh, by typing that in. But uh, when I was doing Instagram, when I first started out, I was around 180, uh, you know, 175, 180. I was, I was definitely a lot thicker and my strength was amazing. So when I went to Planet Fitness, you know, they have all the Smith machines. I think I, I was inclining like 275 for maybe five to six. I was bench pressing 225 for reps of uh, 25 and uh, 30. Of course, you got to remember it is the Smith machine, so it's not a true 225. There's no stabilization or anything. You just pretty much just push, you know. And so I was doing that. I was feeling great. And then, uh, like I said, COVID hit and I had to stop going to the gym. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out where am I gonna where am I gonna work out? What am I gonna do? And as a result of that, I kind of lost motivation to work out for a little bit. You know, I, that was the period of time where I stopped making videos. Um, I was focusing on life. Uh, my wife and I had a child, and uh, so we were just you know she was pregnant with him, so we were trying to make it any way we could. And uh, my weight and my strength just did this and uh, couldn't really work out because we didn't know, this was when COVID was brand new. We had no idea what it meant. We had no idea how you got it. it everything was new, everybody was scared. All the toilet paper was gone. The grocery stores were raided and all that. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out how am I gonna work out? So I started doing body weight stuff, uh, you know, ab crunches. I did uh, curls with dumbbells I had at home, little 15 pound dumbbells that I've had for years and years. And uh, I did push-ups and flies and just basic, basic stuff. And I went from, you know, 180s all the way down to like 158, 160. I was like, oh my gosh. So when one of my managers decided he was going to go to a different area, he was going to relocate jobs, do something different, he had mentioned that he, when he was moving, he had a weight set that he wouldn't mind selling me. So I was like... All right, let's talk. And so he uh, bugged him to death. He finally, you know, showed me all of his equipment, which um, FYI, it's the, all the equipment that I have in my gym right now. He's like, yeah, I'll, uh, you know, I've got no room for this. I don't want to move it. I want to get rid of it. You know, what do you, what do you want for it? And I was trying to do all the math in my head and figure out how much it would cost new. And then I would like subtract a percentage from it to say, okay, well, it's used. So I'll, I'll pay you this. And he goes, well, I'll tell you what, I want 300 bucks for all of this equipment. And if you give me 300, we'll be done and uh, we'll call it a day. I said, all right, 300 sounds good to me. Little did I know that he gave me over a thousand dollars worth of equipment, well over a thousand used. I mean, you can't even get that equipment used at this moment for a thousand. Like it's, it's more than that now. But uh, I just, that was, that was an answer prayer. I mean, extremely lucky, man. I got that. So I set up the bench press and I remember some of my first videos I did on YouTube when I started back, you know, little exercise videos. And I did uh, 185, or I, I did, I bench pressed 135. 
and it felt heavy like a brick train. Now remember, I was repping 225 and 275 on the incline. And for me being, you know, cheeky, I didn't realize I lost as much weight as I did. You know, I get under it and I'm like, holy crap, this is heavy. I hadn't used any stability muscles in so long because Planet Fitness's dumbbells go up to like 70. So, I mean, when I was, when I first started bodybuilding, within the first year, I was lifting 70s at 140 pounds, you know. 70s are not hard to achieve. So, I mean, I didn't do any dumbbell work and just 135 felt heavy as crap. So, like, mentally and emotionally, I'm getting ready to have a new kid. I've lost all my weight. I've uh, decreased in strength so much to where 135 was a working set. I mean, it was it was pretty ridiculous. And so then we had the kid and we started back YouTube. And uh, I mean, pretty much the rest is history. I've learned a lot, like especially with weight and strength. I've found that I am so much happier and healthier and I feel better when I'm at 160 pounds. I've also noticed that when I was at the 180s, I maintained a lot of my strength as I dropped my weight. So when I was 180, you know, I could probably bench press 225 seven or eight times, but I was also 180. Right now I can bench press at six or seven and I'm 160, you know, which is just to me mind boggling. I really like the idea of being lightweight, but being extremely strong and have the efficiency to move if I need to, to do long amounts of cardio, to be able to run somewhere. I'm, I'm more into general health. Yes, I am a bodybuilder. Yes, I appreciate bodybuilding. Yes, I still do hit poses and try to train like a bodybuilder. I love it. It's like an art form, but I'm just in this little phase right now where I'm really liking strength training and I really like high rep sets. It's a challenge I've never really, you know, gotten into hardcore like I have now. And it's something that I really appreciate weights and respect weights for the ability to do that and to continue to grow. I've grown more now um, than I ever have before. And a lot of that I, I attribute to, I'm keeping my protein the same and keeping it high. And I am religious about doing high rep sets on every single workout, like a 50 to 75 rep, max effort, max intensity, get to failure sets. And that's why I'm such a big advocate for it. But I'm definitely feeling better than I've ever felt as a bodybuilder, as a lifter. I don't buy into the notion that in order to be a bodybuilder, you have to be 225, 250, 275 pounds. I believe you're a bodybuilder if you build the body and that doesn't matter what weight you are because building the body should be a personal thing it shouldn't be something to compete against unless you're competing against yourself and for certain people you know competitive people oh yeah i can put on more muscle i can bench more than you to me that never mattered i was more interested in how can i do this exercise to make my muscle look a certain way and the the idea that i can take a weight and create something like this is just mind-boggling to me. I'm, I'm into the art aspect of lifting. So the strength stuff is fun, but it's not the end-all be-all for me. And uh, I definitely have a much deeper appreciation for weights and gyms now that I've gone to Planet Fitness for like ever. Like my strength was sapped when I went to Planet Fitness. I actually got weaker. And it's, it's crazy, you know. It's, it, how could you even do that? But it, it just, it happened for me. I needed free weights. I didn't need these Smith machines and, uh, you know, all this kind of bullcrap exor exercises and weights, uh, weight stacks and all this stuff. The machines they have there aren't very good. But uh, I went through that ordeal, found I love working out at home, put on strength. And uh, it's amazing just seeing in the few months that I've been doing YouTube again, that my bench press has gone from 135 struggling to where I can rep it like over 50 plus times now. Um, it's just, to me, that's mind boggling. So the body is an amazing thing. That's where I'm at. The kid and I, you know, he's starting to grow up and uh, by the time we get, you know, our shots or whatever for COVID, um, he'll be starting to walk and, uh, you know, be able to be a part of life. And so I'm really appreciative to my manager for my weight set. I've been able to make YouTube videos with it. I'd say mentally and emotionally, I'm in so much better of a place by having that stress relief and that ability to just go in my garage after a hard day and just rep it out as hard as I can. Um, 
I also appreciate now being able to do cardio, being able to take better care of my body. And this downtime from COVID has allowed me to take a step back and really think about why I'm doing this, what I want to achieve. What about the long term? What about the end game? You know, what, what's that look like for me? For me, I just want to be 80, 90 years old, take off my shirt and look like a Greek god. I mean, that would be cool to me. The, because by the time you put in that many years, you've obtained such a mastery over it. You won't have to use near as much resources as you do now to compensate because you're newer. You know, you'll just have mastered so much, you know, kind of like a sensei thing. I think it's pretty cool, but... Um, yeah, I tend to ramble, guys, so I'm going to end it here. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Also, follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this so you can see my beautiful bodybuilding face and my awesome delts that I have here. You should just subscribe because of this delt. Do you see this? Like, just go ahead and subscribe. That was that was uh, on, on the house right there. That's for free. So do me a favor, subscribe, like the video so the algorithm can pick us up, throw us to more people so we can have a bigger community. And uh, as always, guys, I just want to take a second. Thank you so, so much. I am deeply, deeply um, grateful to each and every one of you for commenting on my videos, for being a part of our family, and for just bringing positive vibes to the channel. You guys have no idea I've been trying to create this for over 10 years now, and it's finally starting to happen. So as always, so much respect and thanks for you. Each and every one of you is special to me and uh, I really appreciate your time here. That's all I got for today, guys. Look forward to catching you in the next video. It's gonna be a workout video next. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.